Hey everyone, so right now I'm going to film this video. This is a video that's been requested a couple of times on uh, nail care. So basically what I'm going to do is show you how I get my own manicures. I'm in no way, shape, or form saying that I am a professional at this. Um, I Also, I am not saying that my way is the correct way or my techniques are flawless at all. In any means, I am not saying that whatsoever. This is just how I do my nails on, you know occasional basis. I usually do my nails like twice a week. So this is how I do my nails. These are the products that I use. Um, again, I'm not saying that this is a perfect technique. This is just something that I do what works for me and was requested of me to do. So, first things first, I figured I'd show y'all how I removed my nail polish. My favorite thing in the world is to use this. This is a nail polish remover from Dollar General. This runs for $1.50 and this bottle will last me a good I'd say four to six months. Um, not because it runs out of, of uh, product, but because it just gets ugly after a while. And what this is, it is a acetone nail polish remover, and it's in a little tub like this, and you just unscrew it, and it has a sponge on the inside. So you can see some of the liquid there. Um, and what you do is, it has little slots inside it, and all you do is you put your finger inside, and you just kind of let it sit. So while I'm watching TV or whatnot, I'll keep my fingers in here. Um, the sponge will help if you move your fingers around. It kind of helps to remove some of that nail polish. And it really takes, it's a really quick process. Um, this is what I would recommend for a lot of you that use glitter nail polishes, especially um, OPI polishes. A lot of people complain that it's so hard to get the glitter off, and I'm not going to say that it's not, but I find that using this is a lot easier. Um, you can get this, probably any brand carries this. I like to get mine through Dollar General because it is cheaper. It's $1.50, and I buy these like two at a time. Um, versus going to like a drugstore, they run about $3.99 and up. And $1.50, I feel, see, is the best bet, and it works really well. So as you can see, I've only had my fingers in there for a little while, and they've already started coming off. Um, the nail polish, that is, not my fingers. Um, but yeah, th like I said, this is like my favorite thing to use. I highly recommend it. If you do have glitter on, the best thing to do is kind of rub your fingers in the sponge, uh, kind of up and down to get off any glitters. I don't have any glitters on to show you, but also my technique is I'll push my fingers to the side of the sponge here, and I'll kind of work my fingers around that, and that'll get most of the glitter off. And if you still have some glitter on remaining, I like to use a paper towel that's kind of grooved and just swipe my nail since my nail will still be wet. It moves the, the glitter off a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and take off all my little nail polish that's already chipped, and I'll be right back to show you the rest of how I create my manicures. Okay, so now that all my nail polish is removed, the next thing I do is I take a cuticle pusher like this, and what I do is I'll go ahead and push back on the cuticle if there's any that's starting to grow out on the nail bed. So I'll just kind of push it back like this. I don't know how well you can see. Just push it back on each and every nail, and I've already kind of done that. Um, then I kind of trim my nails, just the nail color cutter, if there's any nails that I need to have some trimming to. And then what I did off camera, because I didn't think you'd be interested in seeing it, because I definitely wouldn't want to see someone doing this, but as your nails grow, you tend to get sludge and stuff underneath your nail. I'm not going to lie. It happens to everyone, right? So I'll use the same little cuticle pusher. There's this little side here that's a little bit flat and kind of more firm. And I'll use that to go underneath the nail and clean out any gunk or whatever's in there. Or um, this side too also works pretty well because it can go flush to the nail and you can just lift up anything that's under there. And now you, um, you know, using this, sometimes you'll get like residue from other nail polish that you've removed underneath your nail. So that's another reason why I uh, like to use the cuticle pusher to remove stuff from underneath the nail. Um, yeah, so after that's all done, and I've already finished that, then I take this little tool here. I don't even know what this is called. Um, it's like a snake's tongue kind of blade. I don't know if you can tell. So it looks like that. I use this tool, and I go along the sides of the nail, and I, it kind of basically cuts away any excess skin that's grown over. And I always keep like a little napkin next to me, and I kind of dump all my crud and stuff on there. Oh gosh, that sounds horrible. But you know what I mean. So I go over, especially the cuticle area, anything that's overgrown. And then I just kind of cut that away. Oops. And that's what I do to each and every nail. 
and that helps to clean out the area around the nail as well as cut up any of the cuticle that has grown and that we pushed back at the end of the nail bed and I do that through each and every nail so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back to show you what else I do for my nail care okay so I've already cleaned up my cuticle area using that little tool that I told you about then the next step that I do is I use just a nail file like this and I file down the sides of my nail wherever I see that uh, my nails are starting to square off I like to keep my nails rounded so if they're starting to square off I use this little tool to kind of um, make them more rounded the next thing I do is I use like this little block here this is a block that has four sides to it and it had a plastic wrapping with the number on it the numbers like which step you're supposed to use first and when I took it off the numbers came off with it so I went ahead and like put in my numbers with the marker and this is I find that this one is used best uh, if you're wanting to kind of file down the whole nail and to make it less like a, of a ridge feeling and it kind of just gives it like a smooth even plate so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that using this nail here so I'm gonna go to side number one and this one just kind of makes you hear that it's like a sandpaper on the nail so when I'm done it's very pale and powdery white then I use side two which is a little bit more of a smoother base but still kind of the sandpapery feeling just not as harsh and I put that over the nail and there it kind of makes it more even then the third one I use is this white one and I don't know what each block does to tell you the truth the size I just know it really helps my nails and I think I got this at my drugstore or Ulta so this makes everything really powdery but again it gives it more of a smooth finish and then the fourth one is a more smoother side and I think this is supposed to help shine but it really doesn't do much for my nail but I use this the block anyway just like that then I go and I use um, this is for Mary Kay you can barely read the writing on it this is a three side block uh, one two and three and this one is more for shine so I'm gonna show you before it's kinda shiny but not as much and I'm gonna use these um, the Mary Kay one that's side one then side two and then side three This one's more like rubbery plastic to where it's not so harsh on the nail. And as you can see, it's a lot more shiny. So that's what I do there. The next thing I do is I take my Essie's um, First Base Base Coat. And I like using this before I apply nail polish because this gives it more of a tacky kind of feeling. Um, so when I apply my nail polish, it has a stickier base to it. And since my nails are already nice and trimmed and they're already very smooth, um, this also helps for smooth application of the nail polish. And it just kind of helps when you have your nails already smoothened out with these little blocks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to apply this. I only put one coat of this on all my nails and then I do my nail polish. So let me go ahead and apply this now. And I'll, well, let me show you what the difference, how it looks from one nail to the next. Apply this onto my thumb. And there's Pepe saying hello. Sorry about that. He's right next to the camera. Well, he's right next to me, actually, but the camera's close to him. So that's what it looks like. It just makes it very shiny. And I would not recommend putting this on as a base coat because, like I said, it's tacky. And you're going to get, like, all sorts of fibers and crap on your nails. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my base coat to all my nails and then I'm going to paint my nails and I'll show you what I use for my top coat okay so I've already painted my nails with Zoya's uh, Jewels so this one here, I put on two coats of that and then no matter what polish I use um, I always put on a top coat and recently I've been trying out this Posh top coat now my favorite before was Sashay Beat and then I, I stumbled upon someone's video and they were talking about how on the back of Sachet Beat, it tells you that there is a, a ingredient in there that is known in California to cause birth defects. Um, 
and it's toluene. I can never pronounce it. It's T O L U E N E, toluene or whatever. Um, if you have such a V, pull it out of your drawer or wherever and look at it, and it'll tell you on there. So I did not want to take the chance anymore with that stuff. I loved it to death, but not at the risk of having reproductive issues and whatnot. Anyways, off topic a little bit, but. So I decided to try this one. This one is supposed to be an exact dupe for Sachet V. It's supposed to be. I don't know. I've only tried it out like three times. Um, and it's toluene, DBPs, and um, formaldehyde free. So I went ahead and picked this one up, and this is what I've been using. And that's what I have on my nails as a top coat. So, yep, that is it for my nail care video. I hope you all found this helpful, and I hope... Um, this answer any questions y'all might have had. Those of y'all that subscribed or requested this video, I hope this was especially helpful for you. Helpful for you. Excuse me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the, the bottom bar below, and I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my nail care video. Um, this is the exact steps that I use before I apply my polish and whatnot, and usually I just sit in front of the TV when I'm doing my nails and yep that's what I do so thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video